good evening everyone welcome to ashok it today we are here to discuss about devops with aws master program so let's try to understand what are the prerequisites to attend this devops with aws course and what is the syllabus and the course details everything that i'm going to provide in the today's session so if you have any question you can ask me at the end of the session if i give the option to unmute your mic so there are 300 people if all of you ask the questions at a time i can't understand and it is going to waste our time first let me complete the session at the end we can discuss for questions and answers all right before getting into the details so let me introduce about myself i'm the trainer for this program my name is ashok so i'm having total 10 plus years of experience in the it industry so currently i am working in one of the product based company as a technical lead from Hyderabad location. So that is very quick introduction about myself. All right, coming to my teaching experience. So these are 10 years is my IT experience and coming to my teaching experience, I'm into this teaching field from more than six years. So total 10 years experience I have in the IT industry still I'm working in the company and I'm having total six plus years of experience in the teaching. So my profile is full stack and I'm into Java Spring Boot Microservices, Linux, AWS, and DevOps. These are my skills, right? I'm into Java, full stack development. So that means front end, back end, and we can do that. Linux, AWS, and DevOps tools. So these are my skills. So let's move on to DevOps with AWS course. So here in today's session, I'm going to clarify prerequisites for DevOps course. What skill set that you should have already if you want to attend DevOps with AWS course? And who is eligible to attend this course? Right? And prerequisites we already we are going to discuss. And who is eligible for this course? So there is some confusion. IT people can join, non-IT people can join, or not like that. I'm going to clarify those things also. Then the most important thing we are going to discuss course content. As part of this course, what we are going to learn? What are the tools that we are going to learn from the DevOps? What are the services we are going to learn from AWS? How many projects that we are going to implement? We are going to discuss. Then after, I'm going to provide course info. What is the duration? What is the fees? What are the timings? Weekly, how many days classes will be available? What about the class notes? What about the class videos? All those details I'm going to provide. Then after, at the end, discussion. So if you have any question, you can talk to me at the end for questions and answers. So most of your doubts will be clarified in these four sections. If your doubt is not clarified, at the end of the session, you can talk to me. So the agenda for today's session is these five points. We are going to understand prerequisites for the DevOps and who is eligible to attend this DevOps course. What is the syllabus of this course? What is our course content? And information like duration, fees, timings, notes, videos, all the information then finally we are going to understand questions and answers discussion are you guys clear shall we get started shall we get started yes perfect good guys the first thing is what are the prerequisites in order to attend this devops with aws time now the prerequisites are nothing so you no need to have any coding background or you don't need to have any software job if you want to attend DevOps with AWS. Nothing is required. The only things that are required, your time, your effort. Your time, your effort, and your dedication. So if you have time, if you, have, if you are really interested to become a DevOps engineer, if you have time, if you are going to keep your effort for the next four months of time, then you can learn DevOps with AWS course and you can become DevOps engineer. No prerequisites to learn DevOps with AWS. Sir, I'm from non-IT background. Can I do the DevOps with AWS course? Yes, 100% you can do that. Sir, I don't have any coding background. I don't know Java and Python. Can I join for the DevOps? Yes, you can do that because there is no prerequisite to attend DevOps with AWS course. The only things that are required, your time, your effort, 
and your dedication is required to attend this devops with aws course the next one who can join this course who can join for this course if you are already working as a developer then you can join for this course because nowadays every developer also should have knowledge on devops operations it employees if you are already working in the software industry still you can join for the devops suppose if you are from java background or dotnet background or python background or testing background still you can join for this devops with aws course it employees can do this and second one can non it non it person can join or not yes because coding knowledge is not mandatory to join for the devops and aws course non it people also eligible for joining this course now can freshers join this course or not yes freshers also can join if you are having some gap of 1 to 2 years if you have 2 years of gap you are btech or mba or mca already completed if you don't have any job then you can join for the devops with aws course freshers who have some career gap freshers who are having some career gap those people also can join for this devops with aws course people who are having some career gap that means you have 2 years gap or 3 years gap you are btech or mba or mca or graduation degree btech mba mca already completed 2 years back or 3 years back now you want to enter into it industry then this is the best course for you you can join for devops with aws are you guys clear what are the prerequisites there are no prerequisites to attend this course who are eligible to join this course it employees you want to switch your career from one technology to another technology that means you are working in the development if you want to switch to administration then you can go for this course if you are non it employee sir i am working in some college or i am working in some other non it industry i am working as a faculty i am working as a teacher now i want to enter into it industry can i join for this course or not yes you can do that and sir i completed my graduation 3 years back i am having some career gap am i eligible for this course or not yes you can do that and someone messaged me sir i am working in some bank as a representative can i enter into it industry with this course yes you can do this because prerequisites are not available if you are really interested to enter into the it then you can go for this course and next one coming to course content so what we are going to learn as part of this devops with aws so this is zero to hero program so i'm saying that no prerequisites whatever the things that are required to learn this course everything we are going to cover from very basic level that's why i'm calling it as master program zero to hero level we are going to discuss as part of this course the first one we are going to start with module 1 i have divided this course into multiple modules in the first module we are going to understand software industry first of all software industry details what is software company what is software project how software development life cycle will be there in the companies what is waterfall model what is agile model what is the role of developers in the software industry what is the role of testers in the software industry what is the role of devops engineers in the software industry so for non it people this module 1 is very 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 important if you are already working in the software industry that means you know already about that industry but non it people may have some confusion so here we are going to understand complete information related to it jobs it projects it teams what is the role of development team what is the role of testing team what is the role of devops team so tomorrow once you join in the company as a devops engineer what are your roles and responsibilities so everything we are going to discuss as part of module 1 then in the module 2 we are going to introduce devops world so what is the devops why devops what are the principles that we are going to follow in the devops why devops is having lot of demand in the market what is the future scope for the devops in the it industry right so as a devops engineer what we are going to do in the companies what are our roles and responsibilities in the job all those things we are going to discuss in the module 2 then after module 3 that is very very important linux and shell script so for the devops engineers linux knowledge is damn important 
in some institutes they will say that linux is the prerequisite for the devops but here i'm saying there is no prerequisite that means whatever the linux that is required for our devops course we are going to discuss that linux as part of the course linux we are going to learn like what is linux operating system how to set up linux machines how to perform operations in the linux operating system how to work with linux commands how to install softwares in the linux os how to deploy applications in the linux operating system then after we are going to learn shell scripting this is also important for the devops engineer many people asking that sir do we need to have coding knowledge to learn the devops coding knowledge is not required for the devops because in the software project development development team will be available who are responsible to write the code that is required for the project after their coding is completed devops engineer job is going to start as a devops engineer we are responsible to perform operations on the application like we need to install required softwares in the computers we need to deploy our application and we need to deliver our application to the client in order to perform operations on the application we are going to use some scripting that is called shell scripting coding is different shell scripting is different within one or two weeks of time you can learn the shell scripting that is required for the devops engineer that's why i'm telling coding knowledge is not mandatory to learn the devops scripting is required whatever the scripting that is required we are going to learn as part of our course in the first module we are going to understand software industry details in the second module devops world we are going to learn that means what why where at all that information we are going to learn in the module 3 linux and shell scripting we are going to learn this is very 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 important guys because if you attend any devops interview so first they are going to start the interview on the linux only you should be strong in the linux operating system if you already know the linux excellent if you don't know no problem because that is part of our syllabus linux we are going to learn as part of our course then once linux and shell scripting is completed then we are going for module 4 in the module 4 we are going to learn cloud cloud so here we are going to learn aws cloud in the aws we are going to learn 10 plus services that are required for the devops engineer so if you learn only devops that is not sufficient as a devops engineer you need to have some knowledge on the cloud platforms currently in the market cloud is having lot of demand so here there are several clouds available in the market like devops cloud available i mean sorry aws cloud is available azure cloud is available gcp cloud is available AWS is having more demand in the market, and eighty percent of the market share is with the AWS only. So, as part of our course, we are going to cover AWS cloud. As part of the AWS cloud, we are going to learn ten plus services. What are the services we are going to learn that you are going to get in the course content document? You people already joined in the WhatsApp group. After the class is completed, I am going to share the course content document in the WhatsApp group. i have shared the whatsapp group link in the chat box if anybody not joined in the whatsapp group you can join so after this class you will get the class video class notes and course content document also in the whatsapp group are you guys clear module 1 we are going to learn software industry details module 2 devops world what why where what is this devops why devops what is devops life cycle what are the roles and responsibilities of devops engineer in the it industry that we are going to discuss in the module 3 we are going to understand linux and shell scripting after this linux and shell scripting got completed we are going to learn aws cloud as part of the aws cloud we are going to learn n plus services how to create virtual machines in the aws how to create a database in the aws how to map our application to the domain name by using aws how to create s3 buckets in the aws how to manage users in the cloud platform we are going to learn as part of module 4 after this module 4 is completed then module 5 here we are going to learn devops tools here 12 plus devops tools that we are going to learn which are having lot of demand in the market 12 plus devops tools that we are going to learn like maven github jenkins docker kubernetes ansible terraform 
Grafana, Prometheus, ELK stack. There are so many tools, Sonar Cube, Nexus, like there are several tools available. All those tools we are going to learn as part of this DevOps, right? Module five DevOps tools we are going to cover. Then after coming to module six, as part of the module six, we are going to implement real world projects. Okay, now in the company, how the projects will be available? As a DevOps engineer, what we need to do as part of the project, how we need to deploy the applications and how we need to deploy the project into dev environment, sit environment, UAT environment, and what is the production, how we are going to deploy our application to production environments by using CACD pipelines. So as part of this real world projects, so four to five projects we are going to understand with the different technologies, how to deploy one Java application, how to deploy one Python application, Java full stack application, Angular application, React application, Node.js application, because so we don't know tomorrow in the company, what kind of project that you are going to work on. So here, not only on the Java, I'm going to show you how to work with different technology specific projects as a DevOps engineer, the real world projects we are going to implement. We will see real CACD pipelines, how in the companies people are going to deploy the applications and deliver the applications to the clients. Same thing we are going to do as part of our module six. Then coming to module seven. So in the module seven, we are going to provide interview guide. That means how to prepare for interview. What are the interview questions that they are going to ask? We are going to conduct some mock interviews. You might have seen in our YouTube channel, I have uploaded several mock interview videos also. From every batch, we are going to take the mock interviews for the people and we are uploading those videos on the YouTube so that people will see how the real interview will happen. So instead of attending the interview directly, we are going to take some mock interviews for you so that you will understand the interview process in the IT industry so that you can prepare well when you are going for the real interview. Mock interview, interview questions, resume preparation, how to prepare our resume to attend the interviews and how to apply for the jobs in the job portals like Naukari, OneStar and LinkedIn, that complete job assistance we are going to provide as part of this module seven, that is our interview guide. So this is our course content guys, high level. Could you please look into this? We are going to see software industry details, DevOps world, what is DevOps, what, why, and life cycle, roles and responsibilities. We are going to learn Linux and shell scripting. That is very, very, very important for the DevOps engineer. And we are going to learn AWS cloud, then DevOps tools. And we are going to implement some real world projects that are required to keep in our resume. And so that you will understand the real work in the companies as a DevOps engineer, what we are going to do. And in the module seven, we are going to discuss interview guide. Okay, guys, are you clear with this? Are you guys clear with this? I want your response, guys. Please be interactive. When I ask some question, I'm expecting your answers. Please respond. We discussed already, what are the prerequisites? So no prerequisites for DevOps. No prerequisites to learn DevOps with AWS Cloud. Because whatever the things that are required for the DevOps with AWS Cloud, everything we are covering as part of the syllabus. So generally people will say Linux will be the prerequisite. Linux is the prerequisite. But here Linux we are covering as part of the course. The only things that are required, your time, your effort, your dedication is required. So then only you can complete this course with the quality. Good. And who is eligible for joining this course? If you are IT employee, you can join. If you are from non-IT employee, still you can join because coding is not there here. Only scripting is available. That scripting we are going to cover as part of the course. And sir, I'm having some gap in my career. Five years gap is there, four years gap is available. So can I join for this course? Yes, people who have some career gap also can join for this course. Got my point. Then as part of this course, what we are going to learn. I have divided the course into seven modules, guys. Module one, software industry details. First of all, what is software industry? What is software project? How project will be available? What is project architecture? What technologies people will use in the project that we are going to learn? Then after, in the software project development life cycle, where DevOps comes into picture, 
why devops is having demand in the market nowadays what is the future scope of the devops what is devops why devops what is devops life cycle what are the roles and responsibilities of the devops engineer that we are going to learn then coming to this so once these two modules are completed guys so these two modules are going to take only 5 to 6 days of time the first two modules are theoretical modules only because we need to understand the development life cycle process what is waterfall model what is agile model what is project why we are going to develop the projects what architecture will be followed in the companies to develop the project which technologies people are using to develop the project what is a java project what is python project what is a database what type of databases are available what is monolith application what is microservices application right so all that information we are going to learn in the module 1 and module 2 anyone who is from non it these two modules are very 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 important for the people who are already working in the it they have they might have already having some knowledge on these modules if you are from non it background please don't miss these two module classes because you will get full clarity on what is devops and what is cloud from these two modules only once these theoretical topics are completed then we will jump into practicals that we are going to start our journey with the linux because linux operating system is very 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 important for devops engineer tomorrow 99% of your work will be there on the linux operating system only in the company for personal purpose we are using windows operating systems but in the company for the project deployments we are going to use linux os only for that you need to be very strong in the linux operating system and as part of this devops job we are going to perform some operations like installing the softwares in the machines making some configuration files required for the project right creating some files deleting some files taking the data backup taking the logs backup deploying our application all these works we are going to do for our project as part of our operation instead of these doing these works again 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 we are going to do automation of these works that's where scripting comes into picture coding will be different scripting will be different guys as a devops engineer you should have some knowledge on the scripting so that scripting you can learn within one or two weeks of time that's not a big deal right if you really focused if you are concentrating on the classes if you are practicing on the tasks that we are providing on daily basis then you can learn the scripting that is required for the devops job once this linux and cell scripting is completed we are going to learn aws cloud aws cloud concepts are required to perform our devops operations so first we should have some knowledge on the cloud platform so we are going to learn those cloud services 10 plus cloud services we are going to discuss guys remember we are not going to learn the complete aws as part of this course because our main focus is devops devops with aws for the devops engineer how much cloud concepts are required that much cloud knowledge we are going to get from the aws cloud once this aws cloud is completed then we are going to start with devops tools so there are so many tools available as part of our devops culture we are going to learn all those tools what tools we are going to learn as part of the course that information already i have provided in the course content document that the document i am going to share as part of our whatsapp group you people already joined in that then next one once all these things are completed then our syllabus got completed then we need to work on some projects implementation then only you will get the practical knowledge what is happening in the company tomorrow once you get the job what we need to do in the company that you are going to learn as part of the projects then after interview guide resume preparation resume preparation faqs what are the frequently asked interview questions okay and mock interviews tips and tricks that we are going to discuss as part of module 7 with that our course will be completed are you clear all of you clear with the course content the seven modules that we are going to learn please confirm in the chat box able to follow me all of you able to follow me i'm not getting response i'm not getting the response from the people guys don't sleep please participate in the class respond for my questions if you are responding then i will get more clarity 
got it are you clear with the course content detailed course content document i will share in the whatsapp group after this class is completed a pdf document is available i will share that in the whatsapp group okay group link already i shared in the chat box so if you join in that group then you will get that course content document i gave the group link once again if anybody not join please join otherwise you will miss the updates let me save this file all right yeah next one people are having several doubts related to course info okay so course information so this is course which contains three modules guys linux plus aws plus devops so we are calling this as devops with aws but actually we are going to cover linux operating system also course name linux aws and devops okay for this course trainer as i told you my name is ashok so i will be the trainer for complete entire course so till the last session i am going to take your classes so this complete batch i am going to handle linux plus aws plus devops so my name is ashok and as i told you i am having 10 plus years experience in the it the next one coming to the duration of the course this course is going to take 4 months of time this course is going to take 4 months of time okay guys so starting from today next 4 months so when i say 4 months not exactly 4 months 10 days plus or minus plus or minus 10 days will be available 10 days will be there okay if you are able to understand the concepts that i am explaining if you are able to practice the things on time if you are getting the clarity if you are getting the confidence then content will move if you are not able to understand if you are facing some challenges in the practice if you are getting some doubts then course will go slow it depends upon students response in the batch how the course is going to proceed so it is going to take minimum 4 months of time plus or minus 10 days will be available for the course okay it's not two months course or three months course guys minimum four months will be available you imagine four months plus 10 days extra also it is going to take depends on your performance duration and class frequency so how the classes are going to happen so classes are going to happen monday to saturday monday to saturday classes will be available it is daily daily classes monday to saturday every day classes will be available class duration so what is the duration of our classes so classes will happen daily from 8 pm to 9:30 pm ist so sharp at 8 pm the class is going to take class is going to start so till 9:30 pm the class is going to continue one hour 15 minutes live class will happen every day last 15 minutes daily doubts clarifications will be available whenever you are practicing if you are getting some doubt and if you are facing some issue then i will be there to help you at the end of the class so class duration 8 pm to 9:30 pm ist class mode online zoom through zoom how you join the class today so in the same way daily class will be available live classes will be available and now so class notes so for every topic for every topic class notes will be provided so already we have prepared prepared the class notes for every topic so if you see here we have already prepared the materials for everything so if you see for a devops for a devops for every tool in the devops for example if we talk about github for the github already we prepared a notes so if we talk about nexus for nexus tool sona type nexus tool how to install the nexus and how to do that we have prepared the document for that this course is well prepared and well organized if you are talking about jenkins for the jenkins already we prepared the notes what is jenkins what is ci cd how to set up the jenkins in our linux machine all the commands also we have provided and for some tools we have prepared the materials also for example if you want to 
talk about AWS account creation. How to create the account in the AWS cloud? For that also, a very clean and neat PDF document also prepared. So for every topic, before we are going to start the topic, that the topic related notes we are going to provide with you. Okay, suppose if you are talking about Linux. For the Linux, already I have prepared the material. If you see, so Ashoka the Linux material is available. As I told you, Linux is very important. So what is Linux? How to work with the Linux? Linux commands already 38 pages material is prepared for the Linux. When I'm going to start the Linux, I'm going to share this Linux material with you people. What is Linux? How to create Linux virtual machine in the AWS cloud? And how to practice Linux commands? How to work with the shell scripting in the Linux? For everything, detailed document is already prepared. So before we are going to start the topic, we are going to share this document. With very clear screenshots, the document is available. So Linux commands. For every command, what is the purpose of the command? What is the syntax of the command that I have already given here? So I'm going to share all these documents with you before going to start the topic. Suppose if I'm going to start the AWS, then I will share the AWS material. If I'm going to start the Linux, then I will share the Linux material. So you see for shell scripting also, I have already prepared the document. So here you can see that. What is the scripting? Shell scripting is available. What is scripting? How to write the shell scripting like this here? Scripting will be available. How you need to write this scripting? The document is there and we are going to discuss in the class also. Right, for every topic material is available. If you talk about DevOps, Docker, for the Docker, the notes is already prepared. If you talk about Kubernetes in the DevOps, for Kubernetes, the notes is already prepared. Okay, so everything is ready. Just I'm going to share with you people once the topic is going to start. For every topic, class notes will be provided. Okay, and the next one, class videos, backup videos. Class backup videos will be provided Backup videos will be provided. For those videos from today, one year access will be available. The backup videos you can access till one year. You can watch any number of times. Backup videos will be provided. But remember, every backup video will be provided within 24 hours of time. This class is going to happen from 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. After the class is completed, immediately backup video will not be available because admins are going to upload those backup videos in the portal. So once the class is completed today, by tomorrow morning, the backup video, tomorrow morning admins will come to office and they are going to upload the backup video. So within 24 hours of time, backup video will be available and those backup videos you can access for one year. Whatever the class notes that I'm going to provide, that class notes is lifetime access. As I told you, I'm going to share the notes as a PDF or Word document or notepad. You can download that and you can keep it with you. Videos will be available in your portal. You cannot download the videos because people will misuse the videos if you give the download option. So we are going to give only view option. Those videos you can watch and you can watch those videos any number of times within one year of time. From today, the one year access will be available for the backup videos. Are you clear? Course name, Linux, AWS and DevOps. Trainer, myself. My name is Ashok. And the duration, four months plus or minus 10 days will be available for the course. Class frequency, Monday to Saturday. Not only on Monday and Saturday, guys. Monday to Saturday, every day class will be available. Weekly, six days. Weekly, six days classes will be available. And the class duration daily, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. IST daily. One hour, 15 minutes live class will be available. Last 15 minutes, doubts clarification will be available. Class mode. Through online, we are going to take all these classes and every class is a live class. And in every class, you can interact with me. You can ask your doubts. We can have the discussion at the end of the session. And for every topic, class notes will be provided. As I have shown you already, the materials are already prepared because this is our 13th batch for DevOps with AWS. DevOps with AWS master program. I'm going to call this course as 13 DevOps. This is our 13th batch for the DevOps with AWS Cloud in our institute. So already 12 batches we have started for the DevOps. In those batches, we have prepared the materials and we are going to share those materials in the batch. Right? My notes is already prepared. So as I told you, this course is well organized and well planned with a lot of experience. We are going to deal this course. Right? And as I told you, backup video, every class will be recorded uh, in the Zoom. After the class completed, within 24 hours, you will get the video. And those videos you can access for one year. And coming to the course fees, this course fees we are 
charging 16,000 INR, one time payment, no installments. So the course fees is 16,000 rupees for three modules, including Linux, AWS, for DevOps. For all the three modules, the course fees is 16,000 INR, live classes plus backup videos will be available. Someone may ask, sir, I don't want to backup videos. Backup videos we are giving as a bonus. So if you want to attend the live classes, then 16,000 is the fees for the DevOps with AWS course, including Linux. Are you clear? Are you guys clear? Docker and Kubernetes, only on the Docker and Kubernetes, we are going to spend one month. Docker and Kubernetes is very, very, very important for the DevOps engineer. So Docker and Kubernetes, we are going to learn for one month of time. The most of the time, the most tough concept in the DevOps course is Docker and Kubernetes. We are going to spend one month of time for the Dockers and Kubernetes. Docker and Kubernetes, we are going to discuss in depth because those are two tools are my favorite tools in the entire DevOps course because they are difficult, but very interesting. Very interesting and very useful tools. Nowadays, when you attend the interview on the DevOps, 10 minutes they are going to take the interview on Linux. That is for sure. So without Linux questions, your interview will not be completed on the DevOps. Then after five minutes, they are going to spend on uh, Ansible and Terraform. 15 minutes they are going to spend only on the Dockers and Kubernetes. Five minutes they will spend on the AWS. So they are going to give a lot of importance for Dockers and Kubernetes in the interview. So that's why in our course, we are going to give a lot of importance for Dockers and Kubernetes in the course. We are going to spend approximately one month of time only for the Dockers and Kubernetes because those tools are very, 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 very important. Sonar Cube, we can complete in two days. Nexus, we can complete in two days. Okay, GitHub, we can complete in one week. Maven, we can complete in two to three days. But a Docker, 10 to 15 days it is going to take. Kubernetes, 15 to 20 days it is going to take. So those two tools are very, very important. So because I'm already working in the IT, I know how the interview pattern is going to happen and what are the tools that we are using in the companies, what are the tools we are having the demand. So as per that, we have planned this course. You are going to get complete real-time knowledge. Okay. Most of your doubts are clarified. Still anybody having any questions? Guys, here people are asking how much time you are going to take for each tool. Guys, so <laughs> I'm not a robot to decide that this tool will complete in two days. This tool will complete in one day. It depends on how you are understanding that. If I start the Jenkins, if you are able to understand the Jenkins, I can complete in one week. If you are getting some difficulty in understanding, if you are facing some issues with the practice, then it will increase up to 10 days of time. I can't give you fixed time for the each and every tool. So it's a live course, right? So based on your response, based on your practice, based on your understanding, we are going to spend that time. So I can't give you the exact time. I told you for Dockers and Kubernetes, approximately one month. Sometimes it may go up to one and a half month also. So that depends on your understanding because student understanding is the most important for the course completion, right? Your satisfaction is most important for us. If you are able to understand, Jenkins I can teach in one week also, right? But if you are not able to understand, I cannot complete in one week. I need to give you complete clarity with the live examples, with the practicals, with the doubts clarification. So duration for each tool, I can't fix now. It depends on how you are understanding. Based on that, we'll plan. And here, as I told you, today is our first session. Today is like introduction. What is our course? What is our course content? The course information? What is the prerequisites? Who can join for this course? Who are eligible? Okay. Now, from tomorrow, we are going to start. We are going to start module one. So what is, what is software industry? What is a project? What is project architecture? What is front end, back end database? How software project will be developed? What technologies are available? What is software development life cycle? What is waterfall methodology? What is agile methodology? From tomorrow, we are going to start module one. Actual content is going to start from module one. You guys can attend. You guys can attend five classes for free. 
don't think that five demos will be available don't think that same thing i'm going to repeat tomorrow so today is the demo session and that is introduction session we are done with the introduction from tomorrow we are going to start the module one actual topics are going to start from tomorrow you guys can attend five classes for free of cost after five classes if you like my explanation if you like my subject if you like my teaching methodology then you can join for the course i'm not asking you to do the enrollment today itself so you can attend five classes for free of cost same zoom link will be available for the next five days same zoom link will be available for the next five days you can attend the regular classes for five days with the same zoom link timings 8 pm to 9:30 pm ist so if you like our subject if you like our pattern if you like our content then you can take the enrollment then you can continue the regular classes are you clear from tomorrow i'm going to start with the module 1 as i discussed tomorrow i'm going to start with software industry details projects and all then you can attend the five classes this module 1 and module 2 you can attend for free of cost okay as i told you five to six days it is going to take to complete module 1 and module 2 you can attend that free of cost once if you like that content then you can join for the actual classes from the linux onwards with the enrollment process as i told you course fees is 16000 for linux aws and devops and i'm going to discuss the course in the same pattern guys software industry details devops linux and shell scripting then aws cloud services then devops tools we are going to learn and real world projects we are going to implement then interview guide will be available and another advantage is guys so recently what we have done is for every topic in aws we have prepared interview questions for every service in aws we have prepared interview questions for every devops tool for every devops tool we have prepared interview questions okay so once suppose for example if i complete a tool called github in the devops for the github i'm going to share the interview questions so right so for already we have prepared lot of interview questions for that if you uh, ask me to show that interview questions right so if you go for devops already we prepared lot of interview questions for example if you go for aws aws interview questions and answers the document is available for that and if you go for a devops devops interview questions and answers are available docker kubernetes interview questions available github interview questions if you talk about github so on the github itself i have prepared around 30 interview questions so for every tool for every topic we have already prepared the interview questions these are the interview questions which are asked in the several interviews on the github so as a devops engineer we are going to work with the github so what are the questions they are going to ask in the github we have already prepared okay so if you talk about linux on the linux we have prepared several interview questions right and the devops we have prepared interview questions on the aws we have prepared the interview questions right so devops linux interview questions devops interview questions by ashu so if you see let me open the pdf document okay 250 interview questions we have prepared on this all right so for every tool for every topic we have prepared the interview questions so you guys can easily crack the interview once our interview guide is complete got my point are you guys clear so these are the proof to say that after every topic is completed we are going to provide these documents for you for the preparation i hope you got the clarity i hope most of your questions got clarified course details i already told the course details mr srinivas so these are the course details maybe you joined late i already given the information related to the course and now let me tell you in the real time what we are going to do as a devops engineer guys so now let's observe the, let, let me give you a quick overview it's not about just the demo session so you should understand what is the role of 
DevOps engineer in the software company. Okay, let's take a simple scenario. In the project, development team will be available. So those people are responsible to write the code that is required for the application. Let's take a simple example, Gmail, one software project is available. To develop that project, that company will recruit the developers. So this is called dev team. Dev team is responsible to write the code that is required for the project. Login page, registration page, forgot password page like that. They're going to develop the code that is required for the application. After their coding is completed, all the developers code will be integrated at one place that is called source code repository. To store all the developers code at one place, we are going to use one software that is called GitHub. Whatever the code developers has developed, that code they are going to store in the GitHub repository. GitHub is called as version control software, which is going to maintain all the code that is done by the developers. Whatever the code done by the developers, now we need to deploy that code in the computer. So we need one computer and in that computer, we need to install required softwares. So we need a machine. We need a machine in order to deploy that code. One machine is not sufficient guys. In the real time, we are going to take multiple machines in order to deploy that code. Now, so whatever the machines that we need, instead of purchasing the machines on our own, we are going to take the machines for rent in the AWS cloud. AWS cloud is available. That cloud platform will provide the infrastructure for rent. Whatever the softwares, that, whatever the infrastructure, that means whatever the machines we need, whatever the network, storage, security, backup, whatever the infrastructure that is required for the software project, instead of we are purchasing that infrastructure, we can take that infrastructure for the rent. Who will provide the infrastructure for the rent? Infrastructure will be provided by AWS cloud. Now, in this AWS cloud, whatever the machine that I'm going to use, that machine is a Linux machine. Okay, guys. So Windows machines will be used only for the personal purpose, but for the project executions in the real time, people are going to use a Linux machine. Sir, do we need to create these Linux machines manually? In the real time, we are not going to create the machines manually. Whatever the infrastructure that is required for our machine, that infrastructure will be created by using a tool called Terraform. Terraform is one DevOps tool. We can say it is one tool that is used to automate our infrastructure creation in the real time. So whatever the machines that are required for our application execution, we are going to create those machines by using one tool called Terraform. So that Terraform is very, very, very important for the DevOps engineers. Once this Linux machine is created in the cloud by using Terraform, then we need to install some softwares in the machine. So to install the softwares, we are going to use one tool called Yansible. Yansible is a DevOps tool that is used for automating configurations that are required for the application. So the infrastructure will be created by using Terraform. In that infrastructure, whatever the configuration is required, that a configuration we are going to manage by using a tool called Ansible, okay? So we need to understand AWS cloud. In that AWS cloud, how to create the infrastructure. Early L people use it to create the infrastructure manually. Now everything is automated in the IT. So if you want to automate that infrastructure creation, then we are going to use one tool called Terraform that is part of our syllabus. By using Terraform, we need to create the infrastructure. If you need a machine, if you need a storage, if you need a database, everything can be created by using Terraform. AWS with Terraform, very good combination, which is having a lot of demand in the market. We are going to learn the Terraform. By using the Terraform, we will automate infrastructure creation in the cloud. And the beauty of the Terraform, Terraform not only for AWS, Terraform will support for Azure Cloud as well as the GCP Cloud also. If you know the Terraform, you can work with any cloud platform to create the infrastructure. That is the power of the Terraform. And the next one, once the machine is created, in this machine, I need to install Java software to run my Java application, or I need Python software to run my application. I need Apache server to run my project. So whatever the softwares that are required, instead of we are installing these softwares, we can automate the software's installation that is called configuration management by using a tool called Ansible. 
guys now can you tell me what is the purpose of github what is the purpose of terraform what is the purpose of ansible please guys please respond if you respond to my questions then i will get more interest to deliver more subject if you guys are not responding then i will also lose my interest please participate in the session today you will understand what is the purpose of devops tools what tools are available what is the purpose of those tools come on guys could you please respond to my questions what is the purpose of github what is the purpose of github come on respond what is the purpose of github only 10 people are responding to my questions it is a repository to store the code who will store the code into github repository devops engineers will store the code or developers will store the code in the github developers will store or devops engineers will store developers will store the code in the github to run that code we need some machines so now are we going to purchase the machines or we are going to take the machines for rent we are going to take the machines for rent who is going to provide the machines for the rent machines will be provided by cloud providers aws azure gcp cloud platforms are available whatever the infrastructure that is required for the application that infrastructure we can take from the cloud providers are you guys clear next one so in that cloud platform do i need to create the infrastructure manually or we can automate the infrastructure creation guys in the cloud platform do i need to create the infrastructure manually or we can automate the infrastructure creation we can automate the infrastructure creation which tool is available to automate infrastructure creation what is the tool which we are going to use to create the infra to create infra to create infrastructure we are going to use one tool called terraform now once the machine is created i want to install some softwares do we need to install the softwares manually in the machine or we can use ansible for the softwares installation configuration management so whatever the softwares that are required to be installed that can be done by using a software called ansible ansible is used for configuration management okay with this our infrastructure is ready with this our infrastructure is ready in order to run our applications with this our infrastructure is ready in order to run our application now code is available in the github we need to take the code from the github and we need to deploy that code into our machine that is the duty of the devops engineer as a devops engineer you are responsible to create the infrastructure in the cloud by using terraform as a devops engineer you are responsible to perform the configuration management by using ansible as a devops engineer you are responsible to take the code from the github and deploy that code into linux computer in order to take the code and deploy the code we are going to use several tools here first one we are going to use a maven maven is used for code building whatever the code is available in the github that code we cannot deploy directly that code we are going to compile and we are going to package by using a tool called maven then after we are going to use a tool called nexus nexus is used to store our project artifacts for the backup okay after code is stored in the nexus then we are going to use a sonar cube sonar cube is a tool that is used to perform our code review whatever the code is done by the developers does that code is having the quality or not we are going to review that code by using sonar cube then after we are going to deploy that code by using a tool called jenkins jenkins is used for ci cd purpose then once our code is ready we are going to deploy by using jenkins nowadays in the market people are using docker for containerization and people are using kubernetes for orchestration maven nexus sonar cube jenkins docker kubernetes after the code is deployed by using docker and kubernetes then we are going to monitor that code by using grafana and prometheus grafana and prometheus will be available and we are going to monitor the logs of the application by using efk okay so these are eight tools available in the github is available nine and ansible 10 terraform 11 so total 12 plus tools that we are going to learn as a devops engineer so as a devops engineer we are going to work with the github which is used to store the project source code and we are going to work with the terraform that is used to create the infrastructure 
and we are going to use Ansible that is used for configuration management. We are going to use Maven that is used to package our project. We are going to use Nexus that is used to store the project artifact. We are going to use SonarCube that is used to perform the code review. We are going to use Jenkins that is used to automate the project deployment by using CI CD, continuous integration and continuous delivery. We are going to use Docker for containerization. We are going to use Kubernetes for orchestration. We are going to use Grafana and Prometheus for monitoring purpose. We are going to use EFK for monitoring the logs of the application. Sir, what is Docker? What is a container? What is Kubernetes orchestration? What is EFK? You no need to understand. Today is the just introduction. I'm giving the names of the tools. When you go for movie, first in the movie, titles will come. Whenever the title comes, will you understand what is the role of that person in the movie? No, you have to wait till the movie is completed to understand like all the characters. Similarly, today you may not understand what is the purpose of these tools clearly. Just I have introduced names of the tools. So we are going to spend three to four months of four months of time. We are going to spend to work with these tools only. So if you are not understanding about these tools today, no problem because I have not explained anything about the tool. I have just given the name of the tool, what we are going to learn. It is just a, a trailer. Today is just a trailer. What we are going to learn in the course. Movie baki hai, picture baki hai, char mahine lagega to complete this movie. Are you guys getting my point? Today, just I'm giving the names of the tools that what we are going to learn in our course. What is the purpose of each and every tool we are going to discuss theoretically plus practically. Both will be available. Are you guys clear? Are you guys clear with my point? So today you are seeing just a trailer, picture baki hai, char mahina lagega to complete all this course. To work with all the tools, it is going to take four months of time. So if you don't understanding about the tools today, don't get tense. Hey, yaar, ye banda kya bol raha hai? Kuch, kuch bhi samaj bhi nahi aaya hai. Samaj bhi nahi aayega because I did not tell anything to you today. Today, I just to tell you, I'm just telling you what is our course? What are the prerequisites for joining this course? What you are going to learn in this course? Who are eligible for this course? And what is our policies in the course? What is the class duration, class frequency, course fees? What is the syllabus that we are going to learn? And what are the tools that we are going to learn as a DevOps engineer? We just understand that. Got my point. So next four months that YouTube, you should be very dedicated. And coming to practice purpose, sir, what we need to do for the practice. As I told you guys, once the free class is completed, once free class is completed, we will create we will create one more group for communication. For communication and doubts clarification. Okay. So whenever you are doing the practice, we'll create one more group for communication and doubts clarification. So whenever you are doing a practice, you may get some doubt. So immediately you can post your doubt in the group. Our WhatsApp group will be, our Telegram group will be available for the enrolled people. After five classes got completed, three sessions got completed, enrollments will be there. Once enrollment is completed, we will add you to the group. In that group, I will also will be there. Immediate uh, problem solving support will be available for you. Once free class is completed, we'll create one more group for communication and doubts, clarifications. Got it. Okay, whenever you are going to practice, whenever you are going to practice, you may get some doubts or you may get some problems. You can share those doubts in the group that we are going to provide. All your group members will be available in that group. All our batch people will be available in the group. If you face some problem, they will help you to solve your problem. If nobody is helping you to solve, then I will be there for you. At the end of every class, we are going to discuss for the problem solving. Doubts, clarifications will be available. And what are the Things that are required, laptop or desktop is mandatory. Guys, you should have a laptop or desktop mandatory with 8 GB RAM minimum. So if you have 4 GB RAM, then that will be slow because we are going to do a lot of practice, right? So we are going to create virtual machines in the AWS cloud and all. So you need to have good configuration system. 
So if you have already a laptop with 4 GB, you can exchange that 4 GB RAM with the 8 GB. So 8 GB RAM is a highly recommended that will be suitable for our practice. Okay. Daily class, you have to attend live class. You have to attend daily live class for one and a half hour. Okay. Daily, daily three hours practice is required. That means you need to dedicate daily four to five hours for me for the next four months of time. So laptop or a desktop is mandatory with 8 GB RAM. Without laptop, it's waste of joining this course. You have to attend a daily live class for one and a half hour. Daily three hours practice is required. Okay. So daily lab tasks will be available. So whatever that I'm going to discuss in the class, you need to practice on each topic. I'm going to share one task also. So you need to work on daily lab tasks also. Are you guys clear? So if you guys are feeling uh, more content is happening, then I will take the classes from Monday to Friday and Saturday we can do the review. What we have learned in the last five class, how you are doing the practice and what are the challenges you are facing. We can keep Saturday session for doubts clarifications also. So not all Saturdays, some Saturdays I will use for doubts clarifications and some Saturdays regular classes will happen. So Saturday is not a holiday for us. So as I told you, weekly six days we are going to work. Monday to Saturday classes will be there. 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. till end of the course, the timing is not going to change. It's fixed time till course completion. How to, how to install the Linux operating system and all, everything that I'm going to discuss in the class. Laptop or desktop is mandatory with 8 GB RAM. You have to attend a daily live class for one and a half hour. Daily three hours practice is required. Daily lab tasks will be available. So you have to complete your tasks on time. Okay, guys. Just quickly revise what we discussed. So today is our first session and our course code is 13 DevOps. Okay. Tomorrow when you are doing the enrollment or when you are asking the doubt, you need to say that you are belongs to 13 DevOps batch. So here I told you what are the prerequisites for the DevOps. Who is eligible for the DevOps? Course content, course information, and discussion is pending. So no prerequisite to learn this course. Only thing is your time, your effort, and your dedication is important. IT people can join, non-IT people can join. The people who don't have any job, who is having some career gap, those people also can join. Course content, I have breakdown into seven modules. Software industry details, that is going to start from tomorrow. Module two is the DevOps world. Module three, Linux and self scripting. Module four, AWS cloud. Module five, DevOps tools. Module six, real world projects. Module seven, interview guide. In the same order, we are going to lend the course. Course information, Linux plus AWS plus DevOps. Your trainer name, duration four months. Course frequency, Monday to Saturday. Course duration, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. daily. Weekly six days classes will be available. Class mode online. For every topic, class notes will be provided. I have shown you the notes which we have prepared. Backup videos will be available for one year access. Course fee 16,000 one-time payment. Today is our first session. From tomorrow, we are going to start module one. You guys can attend five classes for free of cost. Then you can take the enrollment. For every service in AWS, we have prepared interview questions. For every DevOps tool, we have prepared interview questions. We are going to share that. Once the free class is completed, we'll create one more group for the communication and doubts clarifications. And in order to attend this course, laptop or desktop is mandatory with 8 GB RAM. And you have to attend a daily live class for one and a half hour. Daily three hours practice is required. Daily lab tasks will be available for you. And coming to the course, as I told you, so we are going to learn several DevOps tools, Terraform, Ansible, Maven, Nexus, Sonar, Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, Grafana, Prometheus, EFK. In the AWS 10 plus services, we are going to learn. I have not given the list of those services here. Those are already mentioned in the course content document. The course content document I'm going to share in our WhatsApp group. So if anybody not joined in the WhatsApp group, you can join group link I have shared in the chat box. Are you guys able to see the group link in the chat box? All of you able to see the group link in the chat box? Yes. Now you can see in our YouTube channel, the most popular videos you can see, we have conducted a workshop on the Jenkins and we conducted a mock interview on the DevOps. So 
which is reached to 61,000 views within three months of time, how to complete uh, Jenkins deployment, how to set up the de DevOps project by using Jenkins and all. So how to work with GitHub, all the interview questions and videos, mock interviews we are conducting, we are uploading in our YouTube channel. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. I have given the channel link in the chat box. Can you click on that link and can you click on subscribe so that when we upload a video, you are going to get the update from our channel. All of you, quickly, can you subscribe to our channel? Come on, guys, make it fast and confirm. I don't see any increment in the subscriber count. <laughs> if anybody already done, thank you for that. If you are not done, so if you are the first time, if you are attending the classes in Ashoka, then please subscribe to our channel. Uh, that is YouTube channel. So here you are going to get lot of important content for free of cost. You see how to work with the Jenkins. Two and a half hours I have explained in the video. DevOps mock interview. I have taken one mock interview for the DevOps. Three plus years experienced person. DevOps project setup. How to work with the GitHub. So these all are very, very important, which we are going to learn in our course. So all these videos are available in the YouTube. Okay. So DevOps with AWS videos available. When I post one new video, you will get the update from the YouTube. If you are subscribed to our channel, subscribe to the channel and click on bell icon. Okay, good. Yeah. So that's it from my side for today, guys. So what we have planned. So I was able to complete the things that here. So now if you are having any specific questions, then you can talk to me. I will give you a chance to unmute your mic and you can ask your questions. I will be available for next 15 minutes for the doubts clarification. You can ask your doubts one by one. Thank you. Thanks for joining this session. So, so the remaining people, please join the class tomorrow at the same time with the same Zoom link, 8 p.m. IST. Okay. Thank you, guys. If you are not joined in the WhatsApp group, please join. If you are not joined in our Telegram group, sorry, in the YouTube channel, if you are not subscribed, please do that. Thank you.